Alright, today I'm going to show you how to take apart an old monitor and get out like the flyback out of it and scrap it for parts. As you can see this is uh, out of date monitor and it's really old so there's a lot of cool parts we can get out of this. But don't do this unless you know what you're doing because on the inside here there's a lot of parts that can kill you and I don't want you guys to get hurt doing it. So I'm going to take off the cover and I'm going to start the video from there. Okay, I took the cover off and I'll show you. It's really dusty because it's really old. But uh, as you can see, the um, flyback's right here. I don't know if you can think, see it. It's right here. And there's the suction cup thing that connects it to the back of the TV. And we're going to take out this and we're going to keep that and really I don't have any idea what the rest of these parts are but I'm going to keep some of them just in case I mean one day I might find out what they do I might find it cool so I'm going to try to keep some of this and throw away the rest because it's just useless to me but uh, I'm going to take off these screws and I'll show you from there after that okay I'm going to show you what I've done now I've uh, broke the circuit board free, but uh, there's still some wires that's you know holding it down. But uh, I didn't take off that screen because that's a heat sink for uh, transistors, as you can see back here on it. And the TV's face down, that's why it looks a little funny. But uh, I see a lot of good parts on the inside here. Um, it's really dusty because the static from the high voltage makes it stick. But um, I'm going to try to remove the whole circuit board and I'll show you from there after we get all this disconnected. Okay. After uh, cutting some wires, which I hate doing because I don't know what some up to go to. Because I you know, could use parts for something, but uh, I took off, it looks like the, like the driver to it. The CR, whatever they're called. But, uh, Please make sure to do not do this if the TV's been running before. And I mean, you've got a static, I mean, high voltage, really high voltage. Make sure to discharge everything. Which this was an old TV and I knew it didn't even, I mean, I did anyway discharge it, but make sure you do it. Okay, here's the circuit board. It has flyback on it. it looks like we got some, some big caps. Uh, transformer. Heat sink with a transistor on it. It's another. This is a big heat sink. That's why I was going to take off first, but I decided not to because it had all these transistors connected to it. Um, the capacitor looks like we've got um, a big uh, wattage uh, resistor. A bunch of chips on here. A lot of resistors and transistors and. A lot of good stuff. Um, I'm also going to keep this. It's got some stuff on it, which I don't know what it goes to. I mean, but it's pretty neat. We'll see what we can do with all these parts. I'm going to try to build something with it. And let me uh, clean this up a little bit and I'll show you some more. Okay, and I cleaned it off really good with uh, this duster. And now, I've been able to observe a little bit more. I'll show you some the parts on the inside. Okay. So you can see there's, I mean, bigger parts because it's such an older, you know, system. Which makes it good for me because, I mean, the parts are, I mean, I can easily take them off the circuit board. Because they're not really soldered down. I mean, they are, but they're, and they have, like, leads to them. They're not, like, chip resistors and chip capacitors and stuff. I mean, they and look at these things but um my next video i'll show you how to um we'll just mess around with the flyback and i'll see what i can do with these uh transistors because it's pretty neat and i don't want them to go to waste i mean i have so many of them too but there's tons of coils in here just simple stuff that we can you know put to good use um but uh thanks for watching my video again um, hope it didn't bore you too much, but this is what you need to do to, you know, safely take apart a whole monitor or something, but 
be sure to ground everything because you don't want to get killed by just messing around. But uh, it's been good. Thanks for watching.